Alright guys, so we finished up the toolbar and now before we start jumping in and talking about all the different adjustments and sliders that we have available for our develop settings, I did want to briefly go over some really useful hotkeys and features in the develop module. So the first thing I want to go over is actually adjusting the sliders and there's a few different ways to actually adjust our sliders. Uh, the first and most obvious is by just clicking a slider and dragging it up or down. The next we have is we can actually click right over on the number and actually type in a value that we want to set, say 25, which is probably too high for this picture, but that's just an example. Another option is we can actually bring our mouse over the slider and then we can use the keypad, uh, just hitting up or down arrow to move it up by small increments. If you hit just up or down, it'll move it up by one. Or for other items, like for recovery, it's going to move it up by five each time. And if you hold shift and hit up, it's going to move it by large increments. So for recovery, that's going to be by 20, 40, 60. For something like blacks, it'll be by fives. So 15, 20, 25, and going down the other way. So pick kind of the way that works best for you. I typically like to just mouse over each item and then just use my keyboard and hit up or down or shift up and down for large increments. Next thing I want to talk about is how to reset sliders. There's a couple different ways. Let's move uh, recovery, say, up to whatever value, just up to 80. Um, and let's increase our brightness and let's increase our clarity. We're just going to make changes here. It really doesn't matter what the changes are. Well, I can reset any one of these sliders by just actually double-clicking right on that slider button right here. So if I double-click on that, it's going to reset recovery back to zero. Same with brightness. I can also reset the entire settings by hitting this reset button. But what if I don't want to reset everything back to default? If I hit this reset button, it's going to take everything back to default. And what if I've made a bunch of changes and I don't want to have to sit there and click undo to go back through each and every one to figure out where I was? Well, I can also reset specific areas by holding down Alt. So if I hold down Alt, you'll see it right here under Tone. It's going to give me the Reset Tone option. And it's just going to reset the items that are within this box right here. So if I click Reset, it just resets those items. It leaves my presence where it's at. This is a really useful feature for, let's say, if you've dialed in your correct uh, basic exposure settings and you're working in split toning, and maybe you mess it up in split toning and you don't want to go undo everything that you did, you can just click, uh, hold down Alt and click Reset under split toning, which will give you the option to reset these items. All right, so the next thing I want to show you guys is the clipping view. Now, if we hit J at any time, it'll bring up the clipping view, which will show us basically where our shadows are clipped, which means that we've lost detail completely in those shadows. It's going to print completely black as well as our where our highlights are blown. Now right now you don't see any areas where the highlights are blown, but if I were to raise my exposure up, you're going to see the blown areas appear in red. We start staying a little bit here as well as a little bit up here, and I, as I keep raising it, you'll see more blown areas. So clipped is, uh, shadows that are clipped is going to be blue, and uh, highlights that are blown are going to be red. And then to turn off that view, just hit J again. It's a great view to be able to help you to see exactly which areas in your photo are going to lose detail from either being clipped or blown. The next hotkey I want to go over is more of a review. We've already talked about it a little bit. It's the backslash key, which will show me the before version of that image. So if I hit backslash, it'll bring up before. And if I hit backslash again, it'll go back to the current uh, adjusted view. One other hotkey I want to go over real quick is the V key, which turns the treatment to black and white. It'll actually switch it back and forth. So if I hit V, it'll switch me to black and white mode. If I hit V again, it switches me back to color. So it's a really easy way to get into black and white and make a few adjustments and then move to the next image. Alright, so I'm going to reset this image back to the full default develop settings, and then let's move to the next tutorial. We're going to jump right into the basics panel.